Hi guys. I made a little PCB heater <clears throat> over here. I was thinking by myself of doing some more soldering and desoldering videos since uh, since everyone seemed to like that little one that I did on uh, micro soldering and do a little bit more in depth. So I was thinking by myself I have big PCB heaters but sometimes you just want to heat up a small section of a PCB underneath and besides a lot of, a lot of the modern PCBs are very small so you don't need a great big heating surface and I remember vaguely having seen devices in the past on AliExpress and Banggood and probably on Amazon as well that actually hooked up to a soldering station like this and I have several of these soldering stations that's what I used to use you know maybe 10 years ago or, or, or so and now I tend to, don't tend to use them anymore because I, I've got these Atten soldering stations and T12 soldering stations and so on which heat quicker and um, they're, they're just a little bit more modern and they seem to work better to, to me but I thought to myself maybe I can reuse one of these things and make up a little uh, PCB heater so that's what I did I went to my box of pieces of metal and stuff for, for machining and what have you and I found a chunk this chunk of uh, brass and it seemed to be about the right size and for what I had in mind anyway so I actually machined a little piece of brass to go in here which if you look at these soldering irons let me put it over here these are the kind of soldering irons we're talking about they tend to have a little nut over here and a little sleeve and then there is a heating uh, a tip slides over the heating element which is which is what uh, that ceramic heating element here is so I was thinking to myself well all I need to do then is to uh, t take this piece of brass and drill a hole in it just let me move my keyboard um, and this heating element can go straight into the brass and that's in, in fact what I did see it, rough, it roughly goes in there like 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 that right in the middle sort of thing and <clears throat> I took a little other piece of brass and made up a little a shorter version of basically of what this is that that little um, this little tube uh, it only needed to be like half the size and it's got has a little lip on it and then that slides over top of this and of course I'm using the original uh, little nut over here which you see over here it holds it in place and then I drilled a hole in this brass over here which was just big enough for this heating element with you know maybe half a millimeter or less to spare because uh, I liked it to be as close as possible so it's almost like touching and that slides in there and then I drilled a little bit of a bigger hole at the beginning for the little brass collet to go in there and it's just a press fit that uh, made it tight so I didn't have to screw it in or weld it or brace it or anything like that so, so that's what we've got here okay so let's try it out switch it on Let's set it to what, 280 degrees C. What do you think? Try that out first. Okay, it's been about seven minutes. And according to my little thermocouple here, it's over 220 C. Let me see now. 
eight, two hundred and thirty, still counting up. So that should be hot enough, I think. <clears throat> so let's have a look. We have this little board here, so let's place it on the top. Yep. You can just pick all the components off. Cool, huh? Now, what about this IC over here? Some of those components, the legs are bent underneath, you'd have to wiggle them out, but that's okay. Yep. Yes, that kind of useful, isn't it? All right. Well, I think that was kind of uh, a successful build of that thing. I can see how I can use that, especially with these kind of printed circuit boards. You know, you got these um, transformers on there. They're always really hard to get off. I wonder if this thing will retain enough heat to cool to do that, but anyway, I'll do that some other time. I'll be doing some uh, videos on desoldering and stuff, and we might revisit this thing at that time. Okay, well, that seems to work well. In any case, I was surprised actually how useful that was um, and I suspect that uh, occasionally if you you know heating maybe not even to melting temperature but heating the underside of the PCB if you got some certain types of connectors or uh, chips you know those, those uh, BGA chips or something then you can just heat them from the top a little bit more with hot air or infrared or something and they would just uh, pop off I think so that's what I made and then I thought to myself well I wonder because I remember seeing these things and then I actually after I made it I went to have a look at um, what they had on uh, AliExpress and I, f I found a bunch of these little things that work in different ways there is uh, one here that actually slides over top of a soldering iron tip it's got a little screw there to hold it down and um, they have obviously some sort of brass one although it, I don't know if it is real brass or just brass plated I don't know and there's another one over here they're all similar in concept <coughs> this one over here also goes uh, over the soldering iron tip and but it looks pretty small and then there is this one now these ones over here are obviously made for these kind of uh, the, the soldering eyes that I just showed you because you would take the tip off and you put this thing in instead by the looks of it 
but then the heat has to travel all the way through that tip through that area here into the brass I don't I don't think that that would work all that great but then I don't know I've never had one of those but the one I made the heating elements right inside of it so I think it must be better here's another one like that see it goes onto the uh, soldering iron you put put uh, the put that in as a tip and then you screw that on there and um, I think that's all that I saw so <clears throat> Yeah, I'm going to make some, uh, at some stage, make some more soldering, these soldering videos and uh, updates, you know, what I have. I bought some more equipment since I did some stuff very early on in the piece. But we'll have a look at that and we'll have a look at uh, this thing again. Um, we'll actually be using it for some soldering and desoldering and then you can see how it works. So it wasn't very hard to make, just a drill hole in the side of this chunk of brass and um, it was um, pretty satisfactory I think. Anyway, see you guys later.